His name's Victor Garaya. I know there's a hundred Victor Garayas. It's like John Smith. He's Victor Rostick Garaya. He was moved, and there's no record of where he's been moved to. What the hell? For sale? Says when? What did you say? For sale? Says who? How long's that been there? God knows. No one told me. Be fair. It's a bit of a mansion. We could all do with the money. She's not dead. Her money, not yours. Don't go buying a yacht. This is a new one. Gooseberry and coconut sponge. Well, that just sounds ridiculous. Gran! For sale, though. Really? Don't you think we should talk about it? I thought property was theft in your book. Have you got a cough or a cold? No, no I'm fine, I'm fine. We're both good. <laughs> You're never going to leave this place. Bethany in. She's in her room. She never comes out these days. Tell her she can't skip dinner. Ruby's got a surprise, God help us. Oh. Ooh. Knock, knock. Why'd you never phone me back? Did you get my messages? <sighs> Hold on. <sighs> Too many stairs. <sighs> I told Fran it's asthma. <sighs> she doesn't need to know. <sighs> as far as I can work out, Victor got moved. There's no record of where he's gone. And that means they've taken him to an erstwhile site. I'm sorry, I've got too much work. I really can't help you anymore. But we know what those sites are like, Beth. I just thought you could do a search Honestly, for him. Honestly, and... I'm sorry, but I can't. But it's Victor we're talking about. Yeah, but you never think about me. This technology is a privilege, and you made me break the law. If I get caught, they'll strip me of this. Literally, they will pull the wires out of my body. Can they do that? The government owns this stuff. It owns me. And if they cut me off, I'll go back to being just Bethany. Nothing wrong with Bethany. I think she's great. How would you know? Huh? Where were you till I was 18? You only came home because you're sick. Dinner time. 